today i will describe bond polarization if a bond is shared by two similar atoms say hydrogen atoms the position of electron density is equal by these two atoms and there is no polarization but if they are of different electronegativities it is more electronegative then the bonding electron pair is shared in such a way that f has a greater portion of it we represent this by saying that f acquires a small negative charge and h a small positive charge denoted by delta this is known as polarization development of two charges this is a polar molecule now if similar cl or f atom is joined to a carbon atom say in methyl chloride similar charges develop here cl acquires minus charge delta minus and this delta plus this is a polar molecule now if this carbon chain is lengthened so three carbon is up put here this delta minus charge is balanced by positive charge dissipated over the chain that is this delta plus is divided between the atoms delta dash plus delta triple dash plus sum of these delta charges is equal to delta plus as we go away from the source that is towards this methyl group the charge diminishes that is delta triple dash plus is smaller than delta double dash plus this dispersal of charge over the chain is by induction therefore this is known as inductive effect and is represented by this type of arrow in between the line so we will say that this inductive effect is operating inductive effect may be either positive or negative depending upon whether the electron density is sent away from it or attracted towards it the groups which withdraw electron are said to have minus i effect groups which push away 
electron density from themselves have plus i effect. I made a list here of the groups which have positive i effect and negative i effect. Here oxygen with a negative charge has a strong plus i effect sending away electron density from itself then carboxylate ion and then comes alkyl group R. We represent alkyl groups by R. Amongst alkyl groups, this is the strongest having three methyl groups on this, two methyl group and then comes ethyl only one methyl group and the weakest is with three hydrogen methyl group. They all have plus I effect. Groups with minus I effect are these, you can see this is the weakest. This list will let you know the polarization of the molecule, what is the effect of polarization in the molecule. I will take an example of acidic connector. Formic acid H has 0 I effect you must note. So, in formic acid if you compare this with other acids you put a C S 3 here. An acid is a substance which can lose a proton that is leaving here an electron pair with a negative charge. Factors which help to retain this negative charge will make it more acidic and those which are discouraging it will make it less acidic. Say, if you compare this with this, C S 3 has a plus I effect sending away electron density from itself and creating a delta minus charge. Proton if it wants to leave from here, it will have to leave two electrons. This negative charge will discourage having extra negative charge. So, this C S 3 makes this lesser acidic than acid formic acid. If you put more say here 3 methyl groups, a very strong delta plus charge is developed here and equal delta minus charge at this place. This delta minus being very stronger will not further allow having these two electrons which is burden on this oxygen atom. So, this acid is still a weaker acid this is the strongest of these. Similarly, if you put chloroacetic acid, chlorine has a minus i effect, a strong minus i effect. This travels like this creates a delta positive charge on it. So, this actually helps in retaining the burden of this electron pair which is there by loss of proton. So, proton will lost easily. Chloristic acid is therefore, a stronger acid even than formic acid. If we put 3 Cl here. Trichloristic acid 
it is much more stronger than chloroacid because three chlorine atoms together create a very strong delta plus charge here. And if you put three fluorine atoms here, CF3COOH, trifluoroacetic acid. Fluorine is strongly electronegative. This will create much more stronger delta plus, and therefore this acid is the strong acid, strongest acid of all these. Similar more examples we will take later when we discuss acid and basic character. In the next video, we will talk about mesomeric effect.